Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my first YouTube video channel Learn Excel with Karpagam. The main motto of this channel is to make you awesome in Excel. I am going to take you through the basics of Excel at the beginning and gradually we move from basic to intermediate and then from intermediate to advanced. Let's get started. On a day-to-day -day basis, I deal with lots of data, not only with lots of data, with lots of shortcuts as well. There are few shortcuts which is close to my heart and I cannot live without because they make my life really simple. Okay, I'm going to share a few of the shortcuts which makes me really productive at workplace. Let's say I have a table here and I want to make few changes to it in terms of uh, number formatting or in terms of alignment or in terms of changing the font or increasing or decreasing the font size. When you look at this particular table, what are the kind of a changes I want to make? Each and every time I have to go and make the changes. Just imagine a life wherein, if at all you have everything under a particular umbrella. Yes, it's there in Excel. What you all have to do is press Control 1. It's going to prompt you to a dialog box like this wherein. It has given you what kind of a category the numbers are. Is it going to be a general or number or currency? Is it a date, time or text? What exactly is that you are looking for? As of now, my numbers are in general category and I'm going to change it to a currency wherein I have used INR as the predominant symbol here. You can use any kind of a symbol, whatever you want. Then. Not only that, you can either decrease the for, uh, decimal places or increase the decimal places. I'm reverting it back to two. Not only that, let's say my alignment, when you look at the alignment, the alignments are completely left aligned in terms of the subjects and in terms of the name of the candidate. And I want this to be completely a center aligned. And when it comes to a font, I'm okay with the Times New Roman regular and the font size, what I'm using is 16, you can see here. Now, I'm going to increase the font size to 20 and when it comes to a border I have used the inside border if at all you want to make it to an outline or you don't want any kind of a border or top row you can choose n number of options that is available in front of you then we move on to something called as a fill which is very important either you can do it for a complete table or alternatively you can choose what kind of a coloring you wanted either in terms of a fill effects what is the effect that you are looking for is it a gradient or is it a shading style how exactly you wanted it and not only that what is the pattern color you are looking for pattern color or the pattern style either you can choose a polka dots or you can look in for a thin horizontal stripe or you can look for a reverse diagonal stripe anything is possible with excel and finally within the form itself you have the very important area what kind of a protection you are looking for for each and every one of the cell what you're going to talk about is it locked or is it completely hidden i have locked few of the cells so that i don't want anybody to change it so going back i have changed the currency I have changed the alignment to center and I have changed the font size to 20. Everything else remains the same. Just look at the table. What is going to happen when I hit OK? You can see the size font size is increased. Not only that, you can see the currency is brought in here. Earlier it was just a mere number and the font size is increased and it is aligned to the center. Yes, I'm going and hitting Control Z just to make it possible. I agree. Excel is interesting. Okay. Let's move on to the next shortcut. In the shortcut, when you look, I have only one sheet. Imagine a situation that I need another two or three more sheets. It's very simple. Either you have to hit this and it's going to get you the number of sheets, whatever you wanted. Let's say I don't want this sheet, so I'm deleting it. Let's say with one sheet, what exactly I'm going to do? When I want to another sheet, is there a shortcut which you can look for? Okay, even before taking you to a shortcut, I tell you one important functionalities of uh, Excel. I love to work with this. I decide how many number of sheets that is going to appear in my sheet. I can decide whether it's going to be one or is it going to be a 10 sheet. In order to do that, what you have to do is go to file, click at option, the bottom most, when you click on the option, it prompts you to a window like this, wherein this tells you exactly how you want your Excel to look like a feel good factor. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease it to two or you can increase it. As of now, I'm going to increase it to six where you can see in my current sheet, I have only sheet one. When I click OK, there will not be any changes in the current sheet. You can see this because I have to close it. The changes what is done will be appearing from the new sheet onwards. So I'm going to open a new workbook you can see the number of sheets are six in number. Yes. So let's see. Again, I'm going to option 
and I'm decreasing it to 3. I'm clicking OK. I'm going for a new worksheet. Now you can see I have got only three worksheets. So with regard to each and every time I can decide what is the number of worksheets I want. Okay, Kapagam, get rid of all these things. Tell me a shortcut. Okay, very much a shortcut is also possible to add the sheets whenever you want. If in case you don't want to use this, just go and hit Shift F11. Automatically another sheet is added to it. And every time you hit function F11 in the same workbook, your sheets are going to get added. But when you go to file option, every time, you're, unless and until you close your existing workbook, the changes cannot be seen obviously here. Okay, so I'm just going to delete all the sheets and when, which I'm not in need of. Okay, let's go back to our sheet one. So when you look at this, the second is the new worksheet. We have looked into three ways. Either you can hit the plus button or you can go to file option and increase it or you can hit shift F11 which gives you n number of sheets whenever. Uh, this shift F11 gives you lots of flexibility to add a sheet whenever you wanted it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, when you deal with the data, you have to always remember data keeps flowing in and there is no end to it. Let's say even with this, all of a sudden I'm having another entry to my existing table. Let's say Superman is coming to my class. Yes, I'm so fond of Superman. Okay, when it comes to Superman, he's created projects and he has secured 98 and he makes great strategies, again 99, and he's bad at entrepreneurship, he has secured 54. Let's imagine a situation wherein I want to make sure I want this data to get repeated. How do I do this? Exactly. Yes, it's like a magic. Just go and point out yourself where exactly you want. Press Control D. Control D helps you to repeat the last performed action or to repeat the last cell value above. Not only that, either you can hit Control D or right now I'm going to use a F4 function. F4 function repeats the last performed action. It can be of, let's say, I'm going here and I'm using a color, let's say, okay, let's say I'm going to use a green color here. I'm coming here and pressing function F4, you can see. Or let's say I'm inserting, I'm going to highlight this row because I want to show you. Okay, let's say 21st row, I have done it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert another row to 21. Let's say I'm going to press function F4. You can see automatically another row is added. Okay. Very much you can do all these activities in Excel. So control D or function F4 gets you the last performed activity or it will repeat the last performed action. Very much it's possible in Excel. And Excel makes your job very simple. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm not having any fill here. Okay, third shortcut we have seen how to repeat the cell value or how to repeat the last performed action we have seen. Okay, let's say there is a situation wherein I want to hide, already I have two Mahesh here. And I want to hide this Mahesh. Okay, let's highlight it. I want to hide this Mahesh registration number at all or the details of Mahesh. So what I can do in order to hide the selected row, I'm just going to press Control 9. Yes, it has disappeared in front of your eyes. Not only that, let's say I want to hide the strategic management paper also. I'm just making it. Okay, let's say. Okay, I'm pressing Control 0. The, rows, the row has disappeared. The column has also disappeared. Is there a possibility that I can unhide the row as well as I can unhide the column? Very much possible. Just go and click on the area, which area the row is hidden. The row is hidden between 8 and 10. 9 is the row which is hidden. So in order to unhide the row, what you need to do is hiding row, the shortcut is control 9. In order to unhide it, control shift and 9. You have seen it. Okay. In order to unhide a column, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit Control Shift 0 and nothing is going to happen. In 2013 version onwards, Control plus Shift plus 0 doesn't work here. Okay. Is there a possibility that we cannot unhide the column without using the shortcuts? Yes, very much it's possible. There is another shortcut button. You can press Alt O and press C. It unhides it. Let me go and do it again. What I'm going to do is Alt, wait for it to prompt you. After that, press O and together press Control U. It unhides it. Okay. Control Shift plus zero doesn't work here. Okay. 
let's move on to the last shortcuts whenever you work with excel you will come across a situation wherein you have somehow you have pressed something something and something has happened oh my god what happened i could not see the ribbon here okay majority of us get through this problem we will be working with something by mistake and we hit certain keys or combination of keys and something goes wrong what do i do here especially majority of you will come across this problem wherein you miss your ribbon and each and every time you will be looking how to unhide or hide it okay it's simple what i have done is i have hit control f1 so it has go, it's disappeared now again i'm going and hitting control f1 it has come back that's all for today's session i hope you all have enjoyed and stay tuned for more such videos on a daily basis thank you all see you in the next session